Hello everybody, I'm Teko Selchu, and today we're going to learn about the Fade, the fourth alien life form in Natural Selection 2. We're going to learn about the Fade's weapons and abilities, we're going to learn about the Fade's movements, we're going to learn about what upgrades are good for the Fade, and we're going to learn some basic Fade strategies and tactics to get you going fun. Trivia fact, in the original Natural Selection, the Fade's eye was sort of used in all the promotional materials. Uh, Natural Selection 2 is not so much like that. The Fade got a little uglier, and he's still got knives for hands, though, so that's pretty good. And speaking of knives for hands, your first ability as a Fade is a uh, swipe, and that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. You just attack things, and it works basically like skulk bite or anything like that. Just go up to a marine and whack him. Your other ability is vortex. This needs to be researched by the alien commander. Um, if you use it on something, it will send it into a vortex, and it basically does nothing for a while. Cannot be attacked, cannot attack, not very helpful on an extractor, but if you vortex, for example, a phase gate, the marines are not going to be able to use uh, the phase gate. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but nobody ever researches vortex because it costs a lot. Um, your alternate movement, your movement ability in, um, no matter which weapon you have selected, your right click is going to be blink. This also has to be researched. So to blink, you just right click, whoosh, and you fly around the map. This will cost a fair amount of energy if you look in the bottom right, and um, it's pretty great. You can still be shot while you're blinking, but you turn more or less invisible so the marines can't see you. If you sort of, um, um, well, okay, there's, you have, before you get blink and also after you have blink, you have something called shadow step. So if you hold down shift, whoosh, it's sort of a mini blink. Uh, it costs a little bit of, um, energy, but, um, it lets you move in the shadow step in the direction that your movement key is held. So if you hold down, uh, right strafe and you hold down shift, you'll, sh shadow step left and right and back and forth and all this stuff. So this is nice for making quick dodges, uh, get out of the way from marines who are trying to attack you. And you can sort of shadow step into a blink and you'll uh, maintain some of that momentum from the shadow step if you shadow step up into the air. You can jump and go into a blink and maintain the momentum and then when you come out of the blink you'll still be moving. So that's pretty cool. And this is great for getting around. Um, as you can imagine, with Blink and Shadow Step, you want to be doing hit and run for the Marines. You have enough health to sort of fight them toe-to-toe -to -toe for a little while, but once your health starts to dip, you want to Blink out of there and go heal up somewhere, uh, hopefully at a helpful gorge who's right by. So you're going to want to Blink in, attack the Marines, Blink out. You want to kill probably at least one Marine per Blink in, fade, thin, thin their numbers, and then eventually go in for the kill. Um, so that's how the fade works. For in terms of upgrades, adrenaline versus celerity. Uh, celerity is pretty pretty good. Adrenaline is also pretty fantastic because it lets you blink a lot. Um, if you find you're running out of blink energy at important times, adrenaline is good. Otherwise, go for celerity. Silence, camouflage. Uh, camouflage is alright, but uh, I would go for silence. It's pretty nice to be able to blink in and out without anybody knowing for sure whether you've just shown up, because obviously when you get teleport around, uh, Marines are never sure if you've just shown up. Uh, I think regeneration is better on the fade, because you're going to want to blink out of combat and heal up. You don't want to have to blink all the way back to the hive. Um, if you have a gorge helping you, though, or you need the survivability, then you can go for carapace. Um, basic fade tactics, I already said, blink in, kill some people, blink out. Uh, you do enough damage that can be worth it to uh, sort of go find a um, extractor and wail on it. Um, usually that's better if a skulk is already wailing on it, you can just help out, uh, get that extractor down real fast, then both of you can go on to fight. You should be doing a lot of fighting as a fade. Um, you want to look for the hot spots on your map, wherever the marines are, that's where you need to be. You can blink around so you have no excuse to be slow. Uh, make sure to jump into the blink and out of the blink, or shadow step into the air into the blink and out of the blink to maintain momentum, and that's basically the fade, a pretty simple alien but um, takes a lot of skill to get good at. And don't get cocky, the marine weapons will take you down very quickly, especially shotguns that are upgraded. So, you are not invincible, you are just a fade. Thank you for watching, and this was build 232, so if the fade changes in the future, uh, my video will not update magically to reflect that. That's a feature coming later in YouTube, probably in 2012. Not 2012, 2212 in the future. Time machines. Okay, I'm going crazy. Time to stop.